All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, man, it is a lot of information, a lot of stuff going on, man. Only thing I want to talk about today is, and if y'all want me to do this, y'all let me know. I might do something called, I might start dropping this type of news in the evening and do something called 2K Morning where I talk to somebody from the community about some stuff, you know, interview some people, a little call in show, you know what I'm talking about, a little show in the morning time, something like that. It's just something I'm just thinking about, man. We might try to flesh it out, we might not. If y'all think it's lame. Uh, you know, is what it is. But we we just want to try to get some of the content creators from the communities, large, small, whatever, and uh, you know, just chop it up about 2K, you know, for a little while or something like that, man. Whatever, man. But um, really, there's a lot of information going around right now, man. We had you had the last thing that happened, which was the uh the plucks. They nerfed those. Um, Mike's talking about limitless spot up and the chef badge and all that good stuff because a lot of people don't know what what those are, what they expect from them. Ticino is a millionaire now, as if we didn't know that and all this stuff. And we're gonna talk about how the community feels about that. And last but not least, your boy, what up, what up? It's your boy. You don't know brutal sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. Hey, we got a video from Brute. He's telling us about the unpluckable badge and exactly how those plucks are going, man. So if you don't do anything else, make sure y'all like the video because every time y'all like the video, it helps us get closer and closer to that oh-so-coveted 100K. We almost at 90. We only need 10 thousand more and it only took me over 10 years to get here man, i've been on since 2008 since you two damn near started man and i'm still trying to fight to get man let's just get right into the news man so uh y'all y'all know what it is man uh check it out man so just first off uh your boy mike your boy mike wong said listen he said limitless spot up is going to be uh, is going to be patched uh it's currently restricted to shots from 30 plus feet and only in catch and shoot situations we're going to make it uh we're going to make it so that either chef or limitless will always work on deep threes my boy air samurai already uh chimed in and said don't patch this blue but just make them use stop and pop or, or catch and shoot uh this will change the texture of the game uh, these people, these people want limitless spot up uh, to be range extender, and it's not, and it's not. It's a totally different badge. That's what my boy Sam, aka Al Samurai. This ain't that's the first time he chiming in on this, but ain't the last time he chiming in on this uh, video, man. The way I feel about it is this: I'm cool with limitless spot up to allow people to catch and shoot from deeper or just on all deep threes so you can take that intermediate because you can shoot from hella deep and you can shoot towing the line but nobody can really hit consistently from that intermediate area i like that as far as when i'm guarding the ball and stuff like that because when you're guarding the ball it's hard to defend all that space if i got to defend you beyond half court there's not gonna really be a way that i'm gonna be able to defend you you know at almost half court as well as the left right speed boost and all that good stuff and like i said they've already taken the steals out of the game to a large degree so it's going to be really difficult to, to try to defend anybody uh in a situation like that so i say let's limit it let's put it back but uh let's limit it to 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 spot up so just in catch and shoot situations it's gonna work we don't really want do you really want to be guarding somebody that's gonna left right left right left right speed boost you run into the paint wait until you jump sprint out and they don't even have to be careful about where they land and then they can just pull the half court that's gonna be way too serious especially when some of the other moves get into the game that's just my vote y'all let me know what y'all think about it should they put it back in the game to where it's like limited range from last 26 percent they gotta fix the shot contest bro that's something that they gotta fix i think they can't really put something like that in the game until they fix the shot contest but at the same time um as far as floor spacing and stuff like that and the wreck and all that good stuff I can see it, man. If they want to change that, I got no problem. Um, no problem with it. Uh, also, man, like I said, your boy Ticino, he doing big things, man. Just look at that. Uh, NFT hideout. The, uh, the Ninja hideout has officially launched. Limited collection of eight, eight, uh, what, eight, 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 eight unique ninjas uh, NFTs, uh, which has been taken to the world. Has been taken the world by storm. Mint, pri mint price is a uh, 0.05 ethereum that's about a buck 50 150 dollars and uh available supply left is uh you know this thing this, this this was 6300 back then at that point in time said they could potentially sell out in minutes so boom right after that they said it sold out the uh the ninja hideout has officially sold out 
And uh, you know, all all eight eight it was eight 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 eight, 8, 8, but you know, all the ninjas available, they sold out. Um, you know, and all ninjas will be revealed in like two hours or what have you. Uh if you don't know what NFTs are, we're gonna get into that in a second, man. But uh right after that, uh, you know, you see like the NFTs, you see all of this good stuff. Okay, we are Mark. Uh these are just like just you go on there and you uh, dude, this is something that he put out back then, uh a little while ago, and it just said introducing the ninja hideout. Uh, 8,888 unique NFTs hiding behind uh, the Ethereum blockchain, what have you, what have you. And, uh, you know, they're going to give do some giveaway stuff. But the thing that really hit people was the Ninja Hideout launched yesterday, 230. Well, we don't want to talk about that one first. I want to talk about this one first. All 8,888 ninjas sold out. Uh, for a total of 450 Ethereum, which is about 1.3 million dollars man like come on man them dudes doing big things over there man and the thing is right why when you're really looking at it it's just it's just uh it's all pretty much nft is it's a non-fungible token which means you bought some oh them plucky ducks is back it's non-fungible token which means you bought something and you own it and there's proof that you own it and you bought something that was rare who who determines the rarity that's yet to be seen those people but uh he does want y'all to be careful because he says that uh the ninja hideout launched yesterday uh 230 uh, uh ethereum volume traded and i've done the full uh application for verification there are many accounts impersonating us trying to scam people and some have been successful sadly could you please get us a blue check you know asap so you know they're trying to get their blue check and get it so listen bro even though the whole the whole ninja hideout thing is legit there are people out there that are trying to prey on the naivety of people that are that are new to it or what have you so they're trying to be pros and something they're not so not only is tacino telling y'all hey listen you know this is something that y'all can get into if you want to get into it it's almost like an investment kind of like the uh espn um not well not you're not espn what is it called uh it's called let me find it real quick because I want to show y'all show y'all real quick. Is this right here? It is. I think it's uh who. Uh, let me see. I don't know what exactly it's called, but hold on. Let's go back to this. It's called. Uh, let me see. NBA. Uh, hoop. NFT. So I'm trying to find it. Yeah, we go. Top Shot is what it's called, man. This is what it's called right here. It's Top Shot where you can buy moments um, or what have you on on on, on these uh, NBA sites. So you can buy NBA moments. Now, this makes sense to me or it did make sense to me because I thought, let me get off of that because you know they're going to try to, they try to hit you up. But it, uh, like like I said, this it's kind of like you buying cars and it's, and it's buy like different rarities and stuff like that. The community determines the rarity. Um, it's out there. It proves that you own it. Like somebody bought the first tweet for like $2 million or something like that or what have you. But hey, you buy something and it, it's like because it's going through blockchain, it proves that you own it. And like he said, I mean, it's it's it, it must be some dope because my boy S Samurai said my ninja is ranked pretty high in, uh, in the NFT collection. He ain't for sale. I just bought the I just bought I just bought this project because I believe in the people behind it uh, based off their track record. Uh, this wasn't this wasn't a quick money grab for me and then he just said hold on or get wrecked I guess that's what it means. I, I guess I don't know what that really means You know y'all gotta help me with that. I'm old old head, but uh check it out Like I said you go on here and like I said if you bought one of the ninjas when it was up there Then you know you 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 would uh, try to trade it or what have you I really don't understand it Like I said as much as you guys might under understand it. I understand the premise But I don't understand the determination of the value but they sold out, so somebody understands the value. It's, it's just me, because like with the whole thing with the cryptocurrency and stuff like that, it just looks to me like, like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't know. I'm just, I'm old, so it's hard for me to grasp this stuff because I'm looking like real money, real things and stuff like that. But then you got the NBA that's got top shots and they're into it and stuff like that and you can own the highlight and that would make sense to me but you don't own the rights to the highlight like could you imagine um having the the reggie jackson home run holding the rights to that highlight or the gibson home run y'all know what i'm talking about or or uh when bo jackson ran out of the tunnel how many times like if you if you could buy it and have the rights to it and get the money back that would be dope or or you know uh what the lebron chase down on eagle dollar or Everybody will know this. A spectacular move by Jordan. 
What if you could own that highlight and every time somebody played it, they had to pay you a royalty because you could prove that you own it. Now that would be dope, but I don't think with the NBA Top Shots you actually own it. But with these guys, you actually own it. And if somebody wants to sell it, trade it or what have you, then you can do it or what have you. Like I said, I don't totally understand it, the allure, but I guess it would be like, I know somebody's gonna explain it to me down in the comment section, but I guess it would be uh, close to like, like Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something like that and then rarity. But I guess you go to tournaments and fight those and stuff like that. I, I really don't know, but like I said, Hey, he doing big things. Um, obviously, people believe in it. And I summarize somebody that I believe in. So if he believe in it, I believe in it. So, hey, that's what we at. And uh, last but not least, I got to show y'all my boy Brutus him on the scene, Wicked and Mean. He's showing y'all how not to get ripped, all that good stuff, the unpluckable badge, what levels you need to have it at, and all that good stuff. So go over there, check this video out. Link will be down in the description. And that's all I really got for y'all, man. Uh, he pretty much says if you can get it on gold, then you really will be unpluckable. But if you got it on silver, you'll be fine. You just need to completely avoid people. Um, that's pretty much what he said. And y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. What y'all think about the NFTs? What do they need to do with the uh, spot up, limited spot up, and all that good stuff? And, uh, and um, you know, just how do you feel about the game as a whole? And, uh, and, and uh, that's it. That's all I got for y'all, man. So enjoy your night. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. 